next coming up, uh, we've got Mr. Robert Santana. Robert Santana works with Mr. Gage Peart. Uh, he's a newer agent, I think second or third month, um, but not disappointing in any capacity. Last month, he issue paid $25,569. Is that fun to hear? $25,569? Kind of crazy, right? You got to unmute yourself real quick. Yeah, definitely crazy. Absolutely. Good to see you, man. Appreciate you. You're always on the live dials, which I always appreciate you sharing and helping out the whole team. But give us a you know, 15 second quick backstory and let's jump into your phone script. Uh, backstory, I just, I was born in the Dominican Republic uh, by accident, came a little early and then uh, moved to Florida, growing up in, in Florida all my life, came from real estate and now I'm, I'm digging deep into this. Love it, man. Good attitude. Love it. So um, let's uh, let's hear your phone script. What are you dialing today? What are you dialing? What are you? What are you? What are you how's your phone script going? Uh, I've been dialing uh, three month old uh, final expense ones. And I really like them. So I've been. They're actually older than three months, but uh, it doesn't matter. The so old uh, old right final now. expense. Old ones. How much old. are you getting those for? I don't know, like four dollars, two dollars, something. I don't know how much they are. <laughs> Crazy. So let's hear it, man. Let's hear it. Let's say let's run through your phone script. All right. Perfect. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Grady. Yes. Hey, Grady. This is Robert. Robert Santana. I'm getting back to you about a request you sent in a few months ago. So I'll be surprised if you remember this, but we're really far behind. So they got me kind of playing catch up here. But you sent in a life insurance request a few months ago. And just to kind of refresh your memory, it looks like you put uh, 1717 Main Street as your address. And uh, January 2nd, 1976 is your date of birth. Is that all still current and correct? Uh, birthday is correct. I don't live there anymore, though. No, where are you living at now? Uh, well, what's this about? This is about that life insurance request that you sent in a little while back. Again, my name is Robert. I was just letting you know that we did get your request, and I'm the field underwriter assigned to get this out to you and just go through a quick eligibility. Like I said, you know, it's all non-medical. What that means is there's no blood work or urine or physicals or anything like that required, but they do have me lay eyes on you to make sure you're not strapped down to any hospital bed or anything crazy like that. You're not strapped down to any hospital beds. Are you grading? No, that was a long time ago I sent that in. You guys are finally getting around to it? Yeah, yeah, we're definitely far behind, that's for sure, but thanks for being so patient. Um, now, you're not strapped down to any hospital beds, you said, oh, right? No, I'm fine. Good, good, and now... You know, we're, we're falling a little far behind. So just to kind of take some notes here, are you still working full time? Are you retired or disabled? Um, I'm retired. You're retired, gotcha. Are you single, married, or, or widowed? I'm married. Married, okay, perfect. Well, I'm calling you, Grady, and asking you all these questions because they're actually going to have me in the area for the next two days, seeing other families who also requested this information. And now with you being retired, tomorrow is Friday, uh, have you got any doctor's appointments in the morning or anything? You or the wife? I do. I have one at two o'clock. You got one at two? Are you guys like morning risers or you like to sleep yeah. in? Or you like to sleep in a little bit? I get up about five. Five, okay. It's a little earlier than me. You beat me to it. But uh, I've got a I've got a nine o'clock or a 1030 that I can kind of squeeze you in. Which time works better for you? Uh, let's do the nine. The nine? Okay, perfect. Ready? I'm going to jot you down here in my calendar. You've got a, a pen or a paper you can jot down some notes? I do, yeah. Yep. Okay, my name is Robert Santana. It's like Carlos Santana, just not as famous, all right? And uh, my state license number is W as in whiskey, 177971. Can you repeat that back to me? Uh, w as in whiskey, 17971. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And uh, I'm gonna have my ID and my badge with me so you know it's me. But I've got a big beard and long hair, almost like those bikers you see on the road, just a little better looking, all right? So, got it. So when you see a biker coming up the driveway, you can put the shotgun away, all right? Wait, let's just, let's try this real quick. Wait, so you're coming over to the house? Yep, yep, coming to the house. They have me lay eyes on you, like I mentioned earlier, just to make sure you're not strapped down to a hospital bed or anything like that. Okay. But I have a black Acura. You want me parking in the driveway or on the road? On the road's fine. I don't know if your car leaks oil or not. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, the numbers to the house, I'm going to see them on the mailbox or on the, the house or on the curb? They're on the curb. On the curb? Okay, perfect. And then uh, is there any gate codes or attack dogs I got to dodge to get to the no, doorbell? like that. No. 
Okay, just want to make sure I didn't need my running shoes on or anything that day. All right, Grady, well, I've got you down for uh, Friday between 8.45 and 9.15. Just give me a little window there in case, uh, you know, traffic or anything like that. But uh, would there be any reason you or the wife wouldn't be home at that time? No, we should be there. We'll be home. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, I look forward to meeting you then and, and, uh, and helping your family out, okay? I appreciate that, Robert. Thank you very much. All right. Have a blessed day. Bye now. You, man. Appreciate you. So my, my, my favorite objections are, are the, the one where they're like, hey, I got to go. And I've, I, I don't know if you've seen it, but I took a picture of all the objections and I put them on my wall here. And so when someone says something, I quickly look up and see where it's at and I jump right into the script. That's a good idea. Will you take a picture of that and post it in Slack when we're done today? Yep, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it, brother. Well, thank you so much for coming on, man. Awesome. You guys can do this, man. It gets better, I promise. It feels good. Actually, have a great day.